Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to the true scale of nuclear weapons. And uh, it's from a channel I've never heard of, How to Survive. Pretty promising. Um, but yeah, we're going to just check this out. The true scale of nuclear weapons. I mean, I've seen like the size of the bombs, but then like on the cities and stuff. I've not really seen a video like that where it sort of shows just how big it could be. Um, but yeah, we're going to just check this out and jump straight into this. Link's also in the description in the description to my Patreon, where you see reactions that I can't post to YouTube, movies, TV series, weather reactions, all that stuff. But let's check this out and see the true scale of these weapons. Today, we're comparing the scale of six of the world's most destructive nuclear bombs, including one so devastating. Let me move this. One so devastating, it could wipe out a whole country. It was deemed too risky oh. to use. Brace yourself. It's about to get loud. Oh, intense, Starting man. off, we have the 15 kiloton bomb that the U.S. dropped on Hiroshima in 1945. Little Boy caused the deaths of around 80,000 people and exposed tens of thousands more to high levels of radiation. It gets worse. The temperature near the blast site in Hiroshima reached 300,000 degrees Celsius. For perspective, that's about 300 times hotter than the temperature bodies are cremated at. Sounds horrifying, right? <laughs> this channel was so intense. I feel like I'm about to be bombed myself. Well, we're just getting started. Oh, God. In 2017, North Korea detonated a nuclear bomb 16 times more powerful than the one that devastated Hiroshima. The nuke is said to have weighed in around 250 kilotons. Ish. Yeah, here's where things get a little murky. Researchers aren't exactly sure what the power of the bomb was, and North Korea isn't spilling the tea. But they estimate it was between 148 to 328 kilotons. Where is the North Korea nuke site? Do they just do it anywhere they want, pretty much? On the other hand, the US intel community estimated it was 140 kilotons. One thing is for sure, though. It was felt all around the world. Seriously, this bomb was so intense it caused an earthquake with a magnitude of about 6.3. The Jeez. sound waves from the explosion were so powerful they were picked up by seismeters worldwide. Up next is one of the most powerful bombs in the US's arsenal, the B-83. This nuke has a yield of around 1.2 megatons of- That's what dwarfs that. And is this the size of it? Is this the bomb? How can a bomb like this- It's mad. If this is the bomb, which I assume it is because this is what he's talking about, can cause this much chaos. How the hell, man? How have we got to this point? 83. This nuke has a yield of around 1.2 megatons of TNT. But what does that mean exactly? Well, let's break it down. You don't need to be a nuclear physicist to know you want to be far away from one of these. Once it hits, it'll create blast waves with a force of about 180 metric tons and wind speeds of 255 kilometers an hour within a six kilometer radius. If you were within about a 21 kilometer radius, you'd experience flash blindness. Within an eight kilometer circle, you'd get third degree burns, you know, where your body tissue gets blistered and then destroyed. And if you're within a one kilometer radius, you'll be hit by blast waves with 720 metric tons of force and winds of 756 kilometers an hour. <coughs> Medically speaking, Jeez. it's going to suck. There are about 650 B-83s in active... 650? And there's more to come. Oh my days. Service. So that's comforting. Next up, Castle Bravo. The biggest nuclear bomb ever tested by the U.S. It packed a punch of around 15 megatons oh. and caused an explosion two and a half times more devastating than researchers anticipated. And this was obviously a problem. Yeah, this bomb was 1,000 times more powerful than the one dropped on Hiroshima. Fuck me. Radioactive debris spread across 18,000 square kilometers contaminating people on nearby islands and even on a Japanese fishing trawler. God damn. This was dubbed the worst radiological disaster in US history, and it caused a massive uproar against nuclear testing. Understandably. 
Understandable when you see the staggering 7.2 kilometer wide, 39.6 kilometer high mushroom cloud. Oh, and it created a crater on the ocean floor nearly 2,000 meters wide and 76 <laughs> meters deep. That's huge. But the next two on our list are even bigger. The Tsar Bomba 50 was not your average. The fact that you see all this stuff and then you see this, like, <laughs> it's just be wherever they they don't like wherever they tested it god damn this guy into the atmosphere man it can't be good let's bomb. be real it was a hydrogen bomb and the most powerful one ever tested it had a yield of about 50 megatons in 1961 the ussr detonated it on a small arctic island creating a shockwave that turned the island into a flat skating rink the bomb was commissioned by Nikita Khrushchev and weighed 27 tons and required an aerial bomber to transport it to the Arctic. The detonation was so powerful that it knocked the bomber down 900 meters before the pilot could course correct. Oh, Jesus. It's not hard to see why a bomb with this kind of power was never made again. <sighs> but that doesn't mean the USSR didn't want to. Okay, so Khrushchev may have commissioned the Tsar Bomba 50, but did you know he originally wanted a 100 megaton nuclear bomb? Yeah, plus 50, baby! Jesus Christ. The plan was to create a three-layered bomb with uranium layers separate. The scary thing is, you just know, if they wanted to, they could create something so much more powerful than even what we're seeing here, man. They could probably just go to a point where they would literally have a bomb that could probably destruct a quarter of the earth just like that like within its explosion and then obviously it like the debris and stuff like yeah man <laughs> flipping hell let's not get there please i mean it's good to see that i feel like they've probably stopped because they've realized yeah we've we've reached the limit we've reached the point now where the, dis the destruction doesn't need to be more than this anyway so they just stop but if they kept going man oh. Uh, it would have got scary. I mean, it is still scary, but you know what I mean. Each stage, but testing the bomb was too, oh, what's the word? Risky. <laughs> Even Soviet physicists were worried the bomb would cover the whole north of the USSR with a massive cloud of radioactive fallout. And if that wasn't enough, the bomb was too heavy. So heavy it couldn't be placed on a missile or strapped to any plane. And even if it could have, it would have taken a crazy amount of fuel to get to the target and fly away safely, making it a one-way trip for any pilot. God damn. Well, there we go. They used the parachute on the star bomber, the star bomb, to, to give the aircraft time to get away, and they still barely made it flipping hell. I didn't know that. And that was at half the original load. That's mad, by the way. Just finished watching Oppenheimer, and and after watching this, it made the movie's already terrifying ending even more scary. The fact that Oppenheimer's bomb had so many concerns and risks, and some of them, some of these make that bomb look like child's play. Yeah, it's wild, isn't it, man? It's crazy. Oppenheimer was nearly a year ago. That film, I remember watching it like it was yesterday. Time goes so quick, man. Flipping hell. Madness. It's insane that humans have managed to build devices capable of wiping out the entire Earth. I'm still amazed as to how bombs work. How can anything cause that much damage? Especially when you look at the size of them. It's just like, wow, man. They've really done... They've done well in that aspect. Not in terms of sh the human race. But they've done well in the aspect of creating a bomb that is very chaotic. You know? That's the goals they have. And at the end of the day, everyone has their own missions in life. So respect to them for creating such things. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction and until next time, like, subscribe.